The Division Series on Fox brought to you by Imitrex. Ask your doctor if Imitrex is right for you. By Intel Centrino Mobile Technology. By Chevy Silverado. It's the right truck. And by Wendy's new homestyle chicken strips. Another reason it's better here. Tom Brenneman, Tim McCarver, our entire Fox crew at Turner Field in Atlanta for this decisive Game 5 of this National League Division Series. And the Cubs in front at the end of 3, 2 nothing. First pitch swinging, Eric Karros, a one-hopper at Vinny Castillo, one away. Hampton allowed two earned runs or less in 18 of his 31 starts on the year, including nine of his last 11. He was pitching his best baseball in three years, the final two months of this season. Well, that happens to a lot of pitchers, unfortunately, who signed with Colorado. Happened to Daryl Kyle, God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. And it certainly happened to Mike Hampton. There are a lot of pitchers that signed with the Colorado Rockies because of the rarefied air. And certainly John Cheerholz knows that, the general manager. The Cardinals signed Daryl Kyle, disregarding his numbers in Colorado. And the Braves did the same thing with, with Hampton. Earn run averages for pitchers in Colorado are understandably stratospheric. Two and one on Gonzalez, who homered his first time up. Now the grounded foul of the third baseline. Two balls and two strikes. Only the second hit in nine at bats in this series for Alex Gonzalez. So he hit that pitch a ton back in the second inning. He surely did, Tommy. I was going to say about Hampton, it's kind of nice to see him come back and reestablish himself yeah. at least to a degree what he was uh, before he went through that time in Colorado because this is a real gutty guy. I mean, a guy you really want on your ball club. One of the best pitching coaches ever in Leo Mazzoni. Working with Mike, trying to get him to forget that experience in Colorado. Terrific feel and everything. Great fans, but tough to pitch there. Gone swinging Gonzalez. Let's send it back to Los Angeles for a game break. Here's Jeannie Zelasco. And from the hardball to the pigskin, the battle of the undefeated in Kansas City Chiefs and Broncos. Dante Hall stole the show and the record. Hall with an NFL record four consecutive games with a return in his last ten games. He's returned seven for touchdowns. And oh yeah, the Chiefs edge the Broncos. We return tomorrow night with game five on Fox. Game five between Boston and Oakland. From Oakland, California, what a pitching matchup in that one tomorrow night. It'll be Pedro Martinez for Boston against Barry Zito of the Athletics. Oh, man. There you get a look at the numbers. Pedro in game one, a game he should have come away with a win had not the bullpen lost that game. In that game one marathon in Oakland, and Zito lights out in game two. Come back into the mound, and Hampton getting stronger after allowing single runs in the first and the second. Only one hit over the last two, and the heart of the order coming up for Atlanta, down two. Now this is big. Now's the best time to buy wireless phones and accessories during the big, big sale at Radio Shack. It's so big. It's, it's, it's the LG VX6000 camera phone. Take, send, and personalize pictures. Just $149.99 after a $50 Radio Shack mail-in rebate. It doesn't get any bigger than this. The big, big sale. Now at Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. i got a question for the folks at Radio Shack. Mm. Who's in charge of spelling around here? Mom, can some of the guys come over for pizza? Sure. She said yes, come on! Whoa, got some big Woo. NFL appetites heading your way. Looks like you need the NFL deal from Pizza Hut and Pepsi. Order any large specialty pizza at regular price and you get a medium one-topping pizza and a two-liter of Pepsi for just $1.99 more. The NFL deal, a Pizza Hut pizza and a Pepsi for just a buck ninety-nine more. May I have another slice, please? Oh, Michael, I don't know where you put it. You can please your crowd every day when you gather around the good stuff. I really wanted a new TV. You know, one of those big ones. So I turned to my Rent-A-Center again. 
I love their flexible payment options. That way, I get to pay them when I get paid. And I'll be owning this Philips widescreen in no time. My friends, my stuff, my Rent-A-Center. Mention this ad and get one week free at Rent-A-Center. Call 1-800-205-2005 to connect with the store near you and ask for one week free. <laughs> that cold's getting worse, Dad. My nose is running, head's all blocked up. I need my Alka-Seltzer Plus. Mom? I'll get your Alka-Seltzer Plus. Only Alka-Seltzer Plus has an effervescent cold-fighting formula to break up nasal congestion and release you from your worst cold symptoms fast. Feel better? I do. That's my line. Alka-Seltzer Plus breaks up your worst cold symptoms fast. Buy it now on DVD. A terrifying force has arrived on Earth. It has the power to assume any human form. You're not Jonesy. And destroy all human life. Dreamcatcher. Buy it now on DVD and video. Monday, October 20th, Fox will introduce a real American cowboy to a group of European women. Oh, he's good looking. Tell them he's worth $80 million in oil. What? <gasps> I'm sure I'm gonna like this lifestyle. And invite them to win his heart. He's rich. He's very rich. Does anyone know how to say sucker in French? The next Joe Millionaire. <laughs> Diplomats are standing by. Premieres Monday, October 20th on Fox. Atlanta comes to bat, bottom half of the fourth inning. Trailing the Cubs in game five of this National League Division Series 2-0. Sheffield with the only hit against Kerry Wood through the front three. That was a two-strike pitch that he hammered into center field. Ball one low and in. One strike to Sheffield. Mark Redzelanik at second base is almost shifted to the left side of second base. It's a quasi shift, but Sheffield would. Popped up left side. So Sheffield could shoot the ball through the other side with consistency. Time to answer our Radio Shack trivia question. Who are the only three players in Division Series history with two career multi-home run games? And we told you, two of them took place in the game yesterday. Shipper Jones for Atlanta. Eric Carroll did it for the Cubs last night with the Dodgers in 95 and Bernie Williams in 95 and 96. I thought Chipper had a wry comment in the Atlanta Constitution today. He said, I'm just Chip, I'm just Sheffield's expensive bodyguard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a highly paid bodyguard. Yeah, that's a highly paid bodyguard. Good work of, if you can get it. Price of bodyguards have gone up. Way up. Like the gross national product of both third world countries. One and one to Chipper Jones. Swing and a miss. Good old country Texas hardball right there from Kerry Wood. Not too many guys are going to get around on a fastball 98 miles an hour around the letters. And Jones didn't. Two and two. Kerry Wood really only throws two pitches, a fastball and a slider. But his sliders, depending on arm angle, does a lot of things. It goes down like that. It goes toward a left-handed batter, sliding in like normal sliders do. But even though he calls this a slider, this is more of a curveball. So even though it's one pitch, it serves as several. They all pitch to Chipper. Tardy on a fastball. Timmy, I would imagine that when this guy is cutting it loose out there on the mound and you're the hitter in the box, it must be right on you right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It is rare you'll see Chipper Jones in a fastball count be tardy on a fastball. That's true. And there's a slider on a 3-2 pitch. And it's a fifth strike out of the game for Kerry Wood. I'll say that last pitch is what makes Chipper Jones tardy on a fastball because you can't look for the fastball all the time. Because even though this is a fastball situation, he gets the breaking ball, but he's on top of it a little bit more, causing that downward action. Two down, and Javier Lopez digs in. He bounced out to short his first time up. First pitch swinging, and he, too, is tardy on a Kerry Wood fastball. 0 and 1 to Lopez. making a turn and here comes a throw to second not going to be in time a two out double second hit tonight for Atlanta against Kerry Wood there's an Atlanta Brave that gets around on a Kerry Wood fastball the ball may have been in off the plate right on the hand that's a good piece of hitting by Javi Lopez, first extra base hit of the ball game for the Braves. Tying run comes to the plate. Andrew Jones hit 36 home runs during the regular season, one of 14 in this division series. Fastball upstairs. in scoring position with two away. Fastball swung on and missed. Oh. Man. That is a big challenge to try to make Wood get the fastball down in the strike zone. You can't hit it up there. Jones waits. 1-1 one, one on the way. And a fastball again up high and Andrews stays away from it. Julio Franco in the on-deck circle. First time in a game tonight that Atlanta has put a runner in scoring position against Kerry Wood. He's allowed two hits, walked one, fan five. Down and away, three and one. You know, Timmy, you look at the season numbers in the career of a guy like Jones, and you would think, well, there's nothing wrong with walking him and then moving on to Franco. But certain Julio has fewer holes in his swing, if you will, than Jones. I was thinking the same thing. I don't think this is anywhere near a pitch around situation. came right after 3-1 fastball and said try to hit it if you can and Jones late well if you throw the 3-1 fastball for a strike and you get the foul ball or you get a strike now it's time to come back with a breaking ball runners this season in scoring position and Kerry Wood limited the opposing hitters to a 157 batting average and he just blew away Andrew Jones on a high heat. Wow. Six strikeouts for Kerry Wood. We're back after a break from your local Fox station. It's 2-0 Chicago. Tonight, the do-or-die game for the Cubs. Corey McFerrin and Mark Sepulso report live in Atlanta with post-game interviews and highlights. And, of course, we'll have a reaction from Wrigleyville. Also, a nail-biter at Soldier Field today. The Bears scored their first win. 
From Bramasoli to Barrington, there's a new collection at Walter E. Smith, and it's called At Home in Tuscany, born from the book Under the Tuscan Sun. Walter E. Smith, you dream it, we build it. And like the book, the furniture is delicious. ATA proudly introduces more. ATA has added more flights to a dozen cities, plus new service to Ixtapa, Mexico, and now 14 non-stops to the New York area every business day. But I have this feeling. Really? I love sports. You love sports. I do. You love basketball, hockey, baseball, football, golf. No, I don't. But you have Comcast Digital Cable. You have access to more sports than I could only dream of. Oh, well, I just got it for all the movie channels. I never, ever watch sports. It's on sale now, so you can get it, too. I'll call you. Comcast Digital Cable. Just $44.99 per month for 12 months. What do people see in the new Chrysler Pacifica? I see a woman who knows how to relax. I see a man who knows where he's going in the world. I see a painter, a parent, an individual. I see a mom and a dad who are completely behind their kids. Introducing the Chrysler Pacifica, well beyond the SUV. Walter E. Smith, you dream it, we build Walter it. E. Smith, custom furniture. Walter <laughs> E. Smith. Okay, it was good until you did the... Uh. Walter E. Smith, I thought that you kind of the back dream and forth it, we build it. Cubs bat against Mike Hampton, top half of the fifth inning. First pitch swing, Terry Wood, a roller after a call. Run away. We invite you to join us tomorrow as baseball's postseason continues on Fox. Another game five. The Oakland Athletics jumped out over Boston two games to none. The Red Sox winning a pair of games at Fenway Park. So tomorrow night we're in Oakland. Pedro Martinez and Barry Zito will lock up. The road to the World Series continues. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, only on Fox. I was just thinking, Tommy, that... Kerry Wood was just thrown out by a guy with the second best arm on the field, Rafael right. Furcal. <laughs> Kerry knows who's number one on that list. <laughs> Furcal going to get another chance to show off that arm. Of course, the one guy I always think of, Timmy Onion, in more recent memory, Sean Dunson, a long-time oh, Chicago Cubs shortstop. As Sean Dunston stands out as a shortstop with perhaps a better arm than for call. Yes. Sean can turn but, it I loose. I mean, that's saying something. Yeah. You can say that. I mean, that young man right there has a cannon A lot of times that statistic errors can be quite misleading. For Call had over 30 during the year, but you wouldn't find a manager in all of baseball that wouldn't take him right now. And I mean take him for his glove, not only his back. And his legs. Pretty good package right there. <laughs> one and one on Breslanik. in the air to get it. Nine consecutive batters retired by Mike Hampton. But his offense has been shut down through the front four by Kerry Wood. Atlanta looks to change that as we go to the last of the fifth. I was working in the garage and I smelled smoke. I quickly determined it was a grease fire. I knew grease fires were different from other type blazes, but I wasn't sure the best way how to handle such a conflagration. So I asked myself, what would Jared do? I'd get a veggie delight on wheat. Or maybe with the honey oat bread. Sorry, what was your question again? 
a veggie delight from Subway. Eat fresh. Come on in, Derek. Derek, I thought we had this thing worked out. I hear you're out dancing, eating, and just carousing with your friends. Is it true you're going out every night? Absolutely not. Good. If you want to enjoy the New York nightlife, bring your Visa card. Because Orso, Cheetah, and the Broom Street Bar don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Hey, Derek, we are running late. lot of your life between zero and 55. No one understands that like your state farm agent. We live where you live. That's why more people insure their cars with us than anyone else. Because we think car insurance should be as much about you as it is about your car. The newly redesigned 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix with 260 horsepower to help you get the most out of your ride. And OnStar stolen vehicle tracking to help you get your ride back. Fuel for the soul. Sensation, the OC, returns Wednesday, October 29th. Atlanta bats last in the fifth inning, trailing Kerry Wood and the Cubs, 2-0. Franco Castilla and then Mike Hampton do up for the Braves. A two-out single by Sheffield in the first, a two-out double by Lopez in the fourth, and that's been it. For the Atlanta Braves tonight, outside of a two-out walk, to Franco back in the second inning. Watching the game yesterday, I thought you and Steve Lines did a very good job with Julio Franco, how he points the bat toward the pitcher and almost has to hit the ball to right field, particularly against a hard thrower like Gary Wood. Shoots that ball into right center field, and Lofton will go get it. Hard hit ball by Franco, but allowed out. That's the only ball that he will come close to pulling. There's a breaking ball that's down. But you can see how far he has to go with that bat. And when he makes contact, it's not out in front. It rarely is. It's over the plate and not out in front of the plate. Yesterday, he had three hits. Two to right field. The only one he hit down the left field line was on a ball down and in, an off-speed pitch. The speed of the pitch often will allow the bat head to come through the strike zone. Up and in ball one to Vinny Castillo, struck out swinging, ending the second inning. Kerry Wood's wife, Sarah. The two were engaged on Valentine's Day 2002 and then married in Hawaii in November of that same year. And Kerry gives her all the credit for improving dramatically his conditioning program. She watches over him like a hawk. You may remember when he came up in 98, there was a lot of baby fat on that body of Kerry Wood. Very little of that now. Those pictures of her during game one. <laughs> Unbridled joy. Classic. She was like a little girl that night. As Kerry Wood was pitching so well, and then when he had that two-run double, it was, it really was nice. She looks a little more calm, although now beginning to gnaw on those nails a bit. Two and two on Vinny Castillo. Well, and only his fifth Major League start. Perry Wood and that baby fat struck out 20 Houston yeah. Astros. <laughs> only the second guy in Major League history to strike out that many in one game. Roger Clemens has done it twice. Perry Woods once. Good. Lined in the left field. 
and caught. So a couple of hard hit balls in this inning by Franco and Castillo. So for the first time, really back-to-back -back hitters have squared up on a Kerry Wood pitch. I would like to correct myself. Randy Johnson also struck out 20 in a game. Well, there was, of course, debate about that because that did not end the game, the nine innings. That game right. went on to be played in extra innings, and uh, the powers that be of Major League Baseball had to decide whether or not that would fit into the same category of Wood and Clemens. That was at... 2001 season when Randy Johnson struck out 20 Cincinnati Reds. When you think about it, it shouldn't go against the pitcher no. because he has struck out 20 through his nine innings. It has nothing to do with what the offense has done. 0 oh, and 2 to Hampton who struck out in the third inning. Good trying to set down the side in order for the second time tonight and does. Five innings of two-hit shutout baseball for Kerry Wood. His wife stands in applause. 2-0 Chicago. 